uncoupling, jai ha. Um, the topic for this video on the line of um, designing a conscious uncoupling transition is how to sustain a harmony, how to sustain a harmony with your ex. There is a very simple thing to do. It is don't engage into fights. Just don't engage. The moment your partner comes with an invitation to fight, right? They might send you some nasty message or they might say something online that might be hurtful to you. What you can do is very simple. It is walk away, walk away from the conflict. If for instance, your ex is sending you some messages that are really nasty or, you know, uh, triggering, trying to trigger you to engage into a fight. Um, what you can do is very simple. It's like the moment you see this happening, you just go like, I am not interested in fighting or arguing with you. That's it, you refuse to engage. You refuse to engage into battle. You refuse to engage into an argument. And uh, to do that, you have to be very, very clear about what you want. And so the moment there is an invitation to fight, the moment there is, you see a situation that could potentially be the trigger for an escalation into fighting, then you just refuse, you consciously don't go there. Because you have to understand that it takes two people to fight. You know, what's the point of being angry and frustrated and then having some, somebody there who is not responding, you know? Some, if your ex is angry with you and she, she or he comes to you with like uh, rage and then you just go like, wow, it looks like you're angry. Uh, you must be hurting right now. Let me sit down with you and see what's happening. And then you're non-reactive, right? You just look at them and you go like, wow, it looks like something's going on. So I'm going to sit down, I put my timer on for like 5, 10, 15 minutes. I just give you space to voice. What's there? I'm not going to be reactive. I just give you space, space to voice. And if the things that they are saying are not finding a hook in your system, then the fight is just going to dissolve because tension and frustration and uh, friction can only work if you have resistance on the other side, you know? If that resistance is not there, you know, if you just disinvest that, that's just, that just goes into empty space. It doesn't build up. The build up happens if, okay, I want to fight and then somebody else comes and then there is conflict, there is tension building up. But that doesn't have to happen. And it doesn't happen if you make a conscious choice to be in peace and harmony and to not engage into battle. And it's something that you can do. It is the same the other way around, right, as well. It is that the moment you start going into attacking mode, and the way you are going to do that is, is through different um, options. One of them is conversations with friends, social situations. Another one is conversation with your ex, with a person with you who you are consciously uncoupling. That's another place where you can enter into conflict and fight. And uh, another one is just bashing or attacking, uh, publicly shaming on social networks. You know, those are different areas. If you start sending a nasty text message, you know, and you know that there is tension between the two of you, just don't engage into a conversation. Don't engage into it. Don't waste your time there. Put your heart, your energy into other things that have nothing to do with building up a battle with, with your ex. Peace. Peace and harmony. And as I said previously, you know, I'm not here to tell you what to do. These are just to bring light, to bring awareness to something that might be otherwise unconscious. The choice to fight or not to fight must be conscious. We are just bringing awareness to it. If you hear all that, everything that I'm saying here, and you say, I don't freaking care. I still want to have my revenge. I still want to retaliate. I still want to have a fight. Then be my guest and go for it. But do it from a place of consciousness and awareness of what you're consciously designing and creating.